Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Park Dong, the captain of the team format. I'm going to review this final discussion, the problem number four, Heron's Fountain. So here is the problem statement. So we, uh, the key point of this problem statement is constru construct the Heron's Fountain and explain how it works. And we have to think about the relevant parameters that affect the water jet. So. Uh, First of all, I'm going to uh, present about the strengths and weakness of the uh, reporter and while the summarize the uh, overall presentation. Uh, so, uh, in the report said uh, great about the quantitative analysis use of the Bernoulli equation, and while I asked uh, uh, some question, they know exactly about the condition they uh, use. But however, uh, they didn't consider the flow. So. Uh, they don't know the uh, boundary condition of the use of the Bernoulli's flow. So if there is the water jet and it goes into the top of the uh, container, there will be the flows of in, uh, in the container. So it will be uh, kind of uh, less applicable to use the Bernoulli's law. And, and, there, and uh, the one, another strength of the reporters was they had made an approach theory. Uh, they uh, considered about the frictional force and it is kind of uh, really a dominant factors uh, of these parameters, and they uh, it, uh, had the analysis of the time-to-time -time comparison with the experiment and detailed consideration of the uh, conditions and the use of the equation. Uh, and the experiment itself, I was kind of impressed of the experiment itself was quite uh, accurate, and they had the trustful and well-fit data in the experiment and the graph uh, they had derived. Uh, and, and they had uh, various uh, ex experiments regarding un anticipated parameters such as pressure difference and initial statics. Mm -hmm. And let's uh, analyze the discussion. So uh, the opposition uh, opponents said about the validity of the experiment uh, because they had they said there was lack of ty types of fountain and. Uh, the uh, reporter said it is enough to prove the results and the theoretical. Uh, so uh, the opponent said, and I also think the reporter conducted experiments regarding many factors, but not regarding the structure of the fountain. And for the next question, uh, the opponent point out the, the model applicable for the fountain with the high, high water jet, and the uh, answer of the for a reporter was it was good enough to explain the model suggested. Uh, however, in my opinion, uh, I would agree with the opinion because the presenter didn't consider various situations of mountain uh, with various heights and only considered one with the short water jet. So uh, the uh, air compressibility can be the one factor that might. And uh, they ask about the R squared or the uh, data how reliable of the data, and I think uh, the report gave well about the uh, data processing, and it is compared well. So here is the misphysics that opponents didn't uh, take about, and it is uh, really important to the consideration of the water jet. So uh, in the video they showed, uh, I saw some uh, breakups of the uh, water jet. So therefore, they have to uh, calculate the maximum water jet uh, regarding of this, not the block of the water jet, and use use uh, this part. And for the overall clashes, they had a really nice uh, quantitative analysis and a, a real good uh, experiment to set up. And they had the uh, uh, overall uh, nice discussions. Thank you. Okay, we're to make the concluding remarks. Yes, I would like to conclude the total debate and the total problem.